Hey everyone, in today's episode, we're going to learn how to use the 3ds Max Rename Objects tool. Let's start by opening 3ds Max and taking a look at our sheet. As you can see, we have a few objects with generic names that need to be renamed. To access the Rename Objects tool, you can go to the Tools menu and select Rename Objects. This will bring up the Rename Objects dialog box. We have two options to select objects. The first one, Select Option, will rename only the currently selected objects in the scene. The Pick option overrides the selection, allowing us to choose the objects using the same controls as Select from Scene. With the Base Name option, we can enter a base name for the objects. For example, we can change the name of the objects to Chair. After this, we can see that all the selected objects have been renamed to Chair. We can also add a prefix by enable the prefix option. For example, we can add my underscore and we can see that the name has been updated to my chair. We can also remove the first N characters from the base name. To do this, enable remove first. If we change the value and select two, we can see how CH is removed from the base name, leaving only R. Let's uncheck it to turn it off. With the suffix, we can add a name at the end. For example, we can type underscore modern, and we can see that our name has been changed to my chair modern. If we select remove last, we can remove any character before the suffix. The number option will allow us to number objects name incrementally. We first need to select the base number and the steps. For example, if we want to start at number 10 and have an increment of 2, we can change the values to 10 and the steps to 2. We can see that the name is updated to include the numbers at the end, starting with 10 and finishing with 16. With these features of the Rename Objects tool, you can easily rename several objects at once and keep your scene organized. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.